Today I'm talking about black holes. They're these incredibly uncharted areas of our universe that are fascinating. People to this day still debate, do they even exist? People imagine all sorts of weird theories about what black holes could be or what they do. What if there's white holes? What's a gray hole? Do we live inside a black hole? What if we fell through a black hole? Do you have to spend time with Matthew McConaughey? There's as many as maybe a hundred million black holes in our galaxy alone. That would be a lot of Matthew McConaughey. But black holes aren't only these incredibly unknown forces of nature in our universe, they're also incredibly mischaracterized. People see them as these very evil, destructive forces of nature, gobbling up everything in their path, gobbling up planets and stars and maybe even entire galaxies, where will they stop? Do they ever stop? Do they ever get tired of eating stuff? They kind of do get tired of eating stuff. They oftentimes take in more than they can chew. And when these black holes take in more than they can chew, they vomit it back out into the universe violently in the form of mixed up space dust and space gas and energy and particles. That mixed up stuff can actually go on to create future planets, future stars, maybe even entire galaxies. While we can't actually image a black hole because even light itself can't escape from a black hole, we can image a black hole's vomit, which you can see in a variety of different galaxies. We can actually image this vomit and kind of see the process taking place of a black hole essentially chewing more than it can, vomiting it back up in an explosive, fantastic, gross sort of way and spitting it back out into the universe to really be recreated into other different stuff. I really like this idea of black holes essentially being creators. So black holes are totally awesome because they're often misunderstood as these evil things, but really to me, they're kind of the super massive hackers of the universe. They sort of sample all the open source material around them, mash it up, and then spit it back out to create future derivative works in the form of energy and particles that might create planets, stars, maybe even galaxies, and maybe even be a very important part of creating life in the universe. Thanks for geeking out with me this week. Remember to subscribe on YouTube. Actually leave a comment this week for future ideas for future episodes that you'd like to see me do. And subscribe on Patreon, or no, don't subscribe on Patreon. Support on Patreon the space pods because space pods like this one are actually supported through Patreon and so people like me can geek out with you week to week.